China has successfully landed its latest unmanned craft on the far side of the moon. In a majestic leap towards space supremacy, China's lunar exploration program has just rewritten history once again. The National Space Administration called the mission an unprecedented feat in lunar exploration. With a space program that had an extremely late start compared to the rest of the space giants, landing a mission on the far side of the moon. Twice is an achievement no one else has yet known. From the start, the Chang's missions were primed to rewrite history, and Chang'e 6 has done just that. Today's episode will uncover the historic touchdown of China's Chang's 6 lander on the far side of the moon in the attempt to bring rock samples back to Earth. Chang'e 6 lunar probes on its way back to Earth after collecting rock and soil samples from the far side of the moon. China has once again achieved a remarkable feat by successfully landing another spacecraft on the moon's far side. This marks the second time China has accomplished this, demonstrating its growing prowess in space exploration. The Chang's 6 lander made its descent in the South Pole Aitken Basin, a region of significant interest for scientists due to its ancient and largely unexplored terrain. The mission aims to collect rock samples and bring them back to Earth a task that promises to unveil new insights about the Moon's history and composition. The China National Space Administration CNSA, proudly announced that the Chang'e 6 lander touched down at exactly 6.23 a.m. Beijing time on Sunday. This precise landing was achieved with the help of the Kuikiao-2 relay satellite, which played a crucial role in communication between the lander and mission control. The CNSA highlighted the mission's technological advancements, including sophisticated lunar retrograde orbit design and control techniques. These advancements are crucial for the mission's success, enabling the lander to perform rapid sampling and a smooth takeoff from the lunar surface. One of the mission's key objectives is to collect samples from the far side of the moon, an area that has never been sampled before. The lander, equipped with a robotic arm, will drill and scoop up to 2 kg of lunar material. This will provide unprecedented insights into the moon's geological history. The excitement within the scientific community is palpable. Yang Wei, a geochemist from the Institute of Geology and Geophysics in Beijing, expressed his enthusiasm, hoping that the mission's success will lead to groundbreaking discoveries once the samples are analyzed in the lab. The Chang'e 6 mission is named after the Chinese moon goddess and follows the successful Chang's 5 mission, which brought back lunar samples from the moon's near side in 2020. The Chang's 5 mission surprised scientists by returning rocks that were much younger than those collected during the US Apollo and Soviet lunar missions, suggesting that the moon was geologically active more recently than previously thought. This new mission aims to further our understanding by comparing samples from different lunar regions, potentially revealing why the moon's near and far sides are so different. The journey of the Chang'e 6 spacecraft began on May 3rd when it launched from the Wenchang spaceport on Hainan Island. Despite rainy conditions, the launch was witnessed by over 100,000 people who gathered on nearby beaches. The spacecraft entered lunar orbit four days later and spent the next few weeks circling the moon searching for the optimal landing site. On May 30th, the lander and ascender separated from the orbiter and return capsule, setting the stage for the descent. The descent itself was a meticulously planned process. At an early time on Sunday, the lander fired its 7500 Newton thrust engine to slow its descent from an altitude of about 15 km above the lunar surface. Cameras on the lander captured images of the landing area, which were analyzed in real time to identify and avoid potential hazards. At about 100 meters above the surface, the lander hovered briefly to perform a final check for obstacles before making a slow, controlled descent to the lunar surface. Upon touchdown, the Chang'e 6 lander became the only spacecraft to have landed softly on the moon's far side twice. This achievement was supported by the Kuikiao-2 satellite, which continues to relay communications between the lander and mission control. After completing its two-day surface operations, the ascender will blast off from the lander, dock with the orbiter, and transfer its precious cargo to the return capsule for the journey back to Earth. 
The mission's international collaboration is also noteworthy. The Chang's 6 lander carries scientific instruments from several international partners, including the European Space Agency's negative ions at the lunar surface and France's detection of outgassing radon. An Italian passive laser retro-reflector has also been deployed, showcasing the global interest and cooperation in lunar exploration. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Chang'e 6 mission is its potential to answer long-standing questions about the Moon's formation and evolution. Quentin Parker, an astrophysicist from the University of Hong Kong, highlighted the significance of the mission, noting that samples from the South Pole Aitken Basin could contain ancient materials from deep within the Moon's mantle. These samples might reveal critical information about the Moon's early state, dating back to around 4.5 billion years ago. As the world watches this historic mission unfold, scientists and researchers eagerly await the return of the lunar samples. These samples will be available to both domestic and international researchers, fostering a collaborative effort to unlock the Moon's secrets. The potential discoveries from these samples could reshape our understanding of the Moon and its relationship with Earth. Will we find evidence of geological processes previously unknown? Could there be clues about the Moon's mysterious far side that challenge our current scientific paradigms? We have to wait and see. In the grand narrative of space exploration, China's achievements with the Chang'e, six missions stand out as a signature towards human curiosity and ingenuity. The mission not only advances our knowledge of the Moon, but also exemplifies the spirit of international cooperation in the pursuit of scientific discovery. As we look to the future, the insights gained from this mission could pave the way for further exploration and perhaps even the establishment of a human presence on the Moon. The Changzhe 6 mission also raises interesting questions about the potential for future lunar exploration. How will the data and samples collected influence upcoming missions? What new technologies will emerge from the challenges faced and overcome by the Changzhe 6 team? As nations around the world ramp up their lunar ambitions, the Chang'e 6 mission provides valuable lessons and inspiration. Moreover, the public's interest in space exploration continues to grow. The sight of over 100,000 people gathering to witness the Chang'e 6 launch is a powerful reminder of the fascination and wonder that space missions inspire. This public enthusiasm plays a crucial role in supporting and funding future missions, ensuring that the quest for knowledge continues. But all in all, China's Chang'e 6 mission represents a significant milestone in lunar exploration. By landing on the Moon's far side for the second time and collecting samples from the South Pole Aitken Basin, the mission promises to unlock new secrets about the Moon's history and composition. The technological achievements, international collaboration, and public engagement surrounding this mission highlight the exciting future of space exploration. As scientists prepare to analyze the return samples, we stand on the brink of new discoveries that could reshape our understanding of the Moon and, by extension, our place in the universe. With much about historic touchdown of China's Chang'e 6 lander on the far side of the Moon in the attempt to bring rock samples back to Earth covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.